Hi, welcome to Indian Laboratories Forum. Now we are going to learn about current good manufacturing practices, as per US FDA guidelines, 21 CFR, Part 211. GMP Good manufacturing practices is the part of quality assurance that ensures consistent quality standards in the production and testing of medicinal products or active ingredients. GMP must also be applied in different industries, such as the pharmaceutical industry, medical devices, cosmetics, and food industries, to ensure their materials, products are safe for consumers. Importance of GMP in Pharmaceutical Industries Good manufacturing practices provide a set of guidelines and regulations that help ensure the consistent production, control, and quality assurance of pharmaceutical products. Good manufacturing practices are a critical system that all manufacturing facilities should implement. They help ensure the proper design, monitoring, and control of the manufacturing processes and facilities. Companies that adhere to these standards help to assure the identity, strength, safety, and quality of their products. Purpose of GMP Regulations Good manufacturing practice is to establish a manufacturing process that minimizes the risk of contamination, errors, and other quality issues. It includes proper documentation, quality control, personnel training, equipment maintenance, and facility design. GMP standards are developed to enhance the safety of manufactured products, especially pharmaceutical goods, and to ensure consumers get the highest quality possible. Adherence to GMP standards not only positively impacts the reputation of manufacturing companies, but also reduces batch recalls and negative reports from consumers. History of GMP Let's have details about the history of good manufacturing practice. In 1937, a tragedy involving the antibiotic elixir sulfonilamide killed more than a hundred people. The drug was solubilized using a high level of toxic raw material. This led to the enactment of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act in the year 1938. For the first time, companies are required to prove the safety of their drug products by conducting pharmacological studies before marketing. In the 1940s, the Food and Drug Administration implemented requirements we use today in Good Manufacturing Practices Regulation. Pharmaceutical companies were required to test and certify the purity and potency of drugs in 1941, and requirements were implemented to test their safety and effectiveness in 1945. In Europe, a new drug market for cancer drug but used it for morning sickness called thalidomide was related to birth defects in thousands of babies in 1962. In the 1970s, Good manufacturing practice requirements were compiled in the EU GMP Uterlex Volume 4. It is a comprehensive guide, including EU regulations and international guidelines for good manufacturing practices for medicinal products intended for human and veterinary use. In 1978, the FDA created the regulations 21 CFR Part 210 which specifies the current good manufacturing practices in the manufacturing, processing, packing, or holding of drugs. As well as 21 CFR, Part 211, specifying the current good manufacturing practices for finished pharmaceuticals. Now we will discuss the key requirements of 21 CFR Part 211, those are 1. Organization and Personnel Which detail about personnel, qualified persons, education, training, and experience, training on CGMP requirements, sanitation, and health habits, 
access restrictions. 2. Buildings and facilities. It details about the design and construction, storage, environment condition controls, processing, quarantine, and other designated areas for different type of operations in the manufacturing unit. Swage, plumbing, lighting, ventilation. 3. Equipment It details equipment construction, equipment cleaning and maintenance, and other requirements related to equipment. Four, control of components and drug product containers and closures. It details the receipt and storage of untested components, drug product containers, and closures. It also details about testing and approval or rejection of components, drug product containers and closures. Five, production and process controls. It details written procedures, handling deviations, charging of components, and equipment identification. Sampling and testing of in-process materials and drug products, time limitations on production, etc. 6. Packaging and Labeling Controls It details material examination and usage criteria, labeling issuance, packaging and labeling operations, tamper-evident packaging requirements for over-the-counter human drug products, drug product inspection, expiration dating, etc. 7. Holding and Distribution it details warehouse and distribution procedures. 8. Laboratory controls. It details testing and release for distribution, stability testing, special testing requirements, reserve samples, laboratory animals, and penicillin contamination. 9. Records and reports. It details the recording of operations performed, equipment cleaning and use log component, drug product container, closure, and labeling records, master production and control records, batch production and control records, production record review, laboratory records, distribution records, complaint files, etc. 10. Returned and salvaged drug products. It details about returned drug products and drug product salvaging. We will learn all the requirements of specific sections in upcoming lecturers. Thank you.